All right, guys, we are at the Ponderosa. I'm hanging out here with the yearlings. The yearlings are going to be the first animals that are going to be worked today. Just waiting on Doc. He's bringing his squeeze chute down like we used last year. Once he gets here, I'm going to use the skid steer to set up panels. He'll pull through and we'll attach the panels, the freestanding panels, to his squeeze chute. And everybody's here hanging out, ready to go. So as soon as he gets here, we'll get it all hooked up. And we'll get after it. I've had to replace all mine this summer. AT. Right in, right in here. Tyler, you want to talk? That's that bobtail. <laughs> this is a Canada. No, this is one of ours. Marissa, this is one of ours. So, so where? It's 75. 128. Yeah. Canadian. Yep. 
685 on the weight. Heavy. Good animals. 890. Hair's pulled. That's pretty good guess. I forgot that game was Maybe with whatever thing <laughs> You <else>. already knew. <laughs>
240, the other one should be bigger. Let me look at its face. Yeah, it's a little dinker. Her cap number is 32, is that right? Yeah, but uh, put, uh, this is 20, this is 22. Yeah, put 232, real big. Yep, thank you. Wow, it's beautiful, babe. <laughs> The heifer? No, I think they're bulls. <laughs> On those adults, I just. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching our working videos the dunbar place and the ponderosa with the big joe herd it is a joy and a blessing to be able to raise these uh, beautiful awesome animals and uh, it is a uh, it's a blessing to go out there every day and see these animals and these are things that we have to do to keep them at the healthiest they can be with the changing of the weather and the seasons these are things that we have to do to take care of these animals and uh, it's not easy there's a lot of preparation a lot of work that goes behind the scenes i'm glad that we can bring it to you and show you guys kind of what goes on in the in the western world and the bison world and i uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it we love what we're able to do and i'm very thankful for the people i have in my life I, i'm very thankful for it I want to thank my wife, Kevin, all my friends, my family that have helped me through this whole process, um, not only just during the working, but just year round that they helped me. The support that people put in to help operate all this, and um, they all know who they are. Thank you guys. I want to thank Doc as well for bringing his system down and being able to look at my animals and, and see what he thinks about them and um, all of his expertise. and and knowledge, I, I wanna thank him as well. So thank you guys for following us along and being a part of this journey and how far we've came just uh, with these animals. And uh, it's all because of them. We're very happy and fortunate we can bring it to you guys and show you um, what it's like raising the American bison on a small bison ranch in Southern Oklahoma. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you for being a part of this journey. We'll continue to grow, we'll continue to take care and do our best for these awesome animals. So we're gonna keep on ranching. Thank you guys, we'll see you soon.